So let's continue. So we got another mage. A two, three, and a five. A very good five. I feel like I want to stick with this hand. It's not the it's not the best two drop, but the Azure Drake is worth keeping hold of. I think I'm going to stick with that hand. Hopefully, draw into a four, four drop. That's a, another. A different choice for two drop. We'll see what he plays. I can fix anything. Well, he's almost certainly going to have a mech. And irrelevant of that, I still feel that this two drop is the the crocolisk is probably a better drop. Even if it turns out he doesn't have a mech, it's going to be a better drop than the haunted creeper. I think this is a flame cannon on it. Don't really mind that trade. Uh, I'd rather use the flame cannon against that than the ogre. Hmm. I'm going to go Haunted Creeper armor up. Hopefully hit the Cogmaster, I did not hit the face. That's not a good outcome, but never mind. But I think Azure Drake, probably the better. Better drop here. I'm gonna hit for one on him. Squire, attend me. He's filling up his board. This is not good, really. I'm surprised he didn't choose to trade there. He's already used his coin, so he won't have. Yeah, he won't have. What now? He won't have um, flame strike just yet. I actually got to charge off those as well, so trading in for the two two might be the right approach here, actually. Which is what I'm going to do. There's no reason to keep these low health minions when flame strike is a turn away. He's Frostbolt and the Scarlet Crusader. Hmm. That's some pretty strong trading from him, I'd say. But I still think that this is probably the strongest play that I've got available to me. He's possibly my just flame strike here. <clears throat> well, he's got some good cards there. Maybe not. Maybe he doesn't have flame strike or possibly. Either way, I'm going to use uh, shield block here. Youthful Brewmaster. I think just the just the injured blade master armor up is good enough. I'm concerned about him producing uh, flame strike here. Trying to consider what co I mean, I suppose I should drop Zombie Chow first just to see. I need to see what if this is duplicate. Um, mirror image, rather. No, this could be duplicate. So I'm going to trade here. You didn't have another secret. You also didn't have a duplicate as well. So that would make it. What would that make it? Counter spell. I 
counter spell. I'm not sure. I, I'm I'm gonna s imagine that it's probably counter spell. It can be the I ice block and Ready, sir. ice shield also. Starting to feel like a very bad, <laughs> a very bad situation that will probably result in me losing. I think uh, Sky Golem is probably the better play here, simply because it's a better card. We need to have some presence on the board. Hopefully, he'll choose to trade. Another Dragon's Breath. I keep seeing Dragon's Breath. <laughs> well, <laughs> I suppose that's okay. <laughs> At least this stops me from losing a lot more health, but I'm still not in a position to really control the board here. And I don't see me finding that, really. I am the Blade of the Gods. I'm assuming he's just gonna go for no he's not gonna he's gonna trade, okay. Fire blast obviously. Hmm. choice but to play this and hope that it lands on something decent. I suppose that's the highest damage card. It's probably the only option. Um Direwolf Alpha probably would have been a better better thing to hit but a four damage minion it slows him down. block that something. I don't think Snapdra Oasis is really going to save me here. So 3, uh, 8, 10, 14. I survived for this round, but I don't see me surviving much longer. Got a paladin, and not a particularly good hand here. So we'll toss back. We'll toss back everything, I think, here, and see what we get. Two drops, good. Not much else is too good there, though. Could do with a three drop for a four drop being drawn within the next couple of turns. Oh, 
god. Shielded mini bot. That's not what I wanted to see. Drink with me, friend. Unfortunately, that's a terrible to drop to put against that, but. I don't really have a lot of choice. Um, not a lot of choice there. So we'll go with that. We'll go with the Warsong Commander. We can then coin up to Benchico or Bomb Lover, potentially. Or if he doesn't if he doesn't clear it, perhaps perhaps heroic, heroic strike commanding shout combo or something. Not sure. He's obviously hoping to hit the Warsong Commander here, which he does, unfortunately. And that puts him firmly in control of this game. Now, Death's Bite is probably a good draw here, really. And I think it's... The problem is, is that is that get down? One of the cards that affects mine. But it's not. I think this is get down. I think this is avenge. One or the other, most likely. Yeah, but this is very tricky at this moment in time. Difficult call. It's actually Avenge, I think. Here, so. Let's fall on this minion. So we can clear. We can clear that, at least. Probably the best move we could have done in that situation. We're definitely up against it here. Unfortunately, we've got a Hammer of Wrath. Now would be a good time for Death's Bite. But I am fast running out of health. So the additional, additional health from the Voodoo Doctor might be a good... A good, um, might be essential really. Could prove to be essential. I think that this might be a loss. Very much against it here. I think Priestess Saloon is in entirely essential. If he's got a true silver champion, I lose. Here. But I don't have a lot of choice. That was a mistake. I should have played it. I should have played that in a different order, but never mind. I should have played the use the weapon first, through really. I should have thought about that a little longer. Yeah. It was a bit of a mistake on my part, though. Because I end up on one health, I can't remove all three, unfortunately, with the mana that I've got. It doesn't really work, unless... Five... I think the only way is if this hits the right, well, if it hit the gu Guardian, but fortunately it didn't, so that puts me out. And that's our second loss. He pretty much had me with, with the, um, <clears throat> he pretty much gained complete control of the board through the, uh, through the mini bots. The, they're a really strong early game card, and he had, he had th three of them, I think, or two of them. Which is, you know, they're very strong. There's, they're very hard to deal with if you're not a class that deals one damage. Another paladin. I will fight with honor. Victory or death. We've got a one, two, three, four, but they're not the best. 
I'm going to keep the piloted shredder because it's a top quality four minion. I want to keep the slam because I'm worried about more mini bots. Um, so I'm going to toss these two back and hopefully get a two drop minion. I did not, which is not great. Turn two armor up is not the play I would normally like to make. <laughs> I think I'm going to coin up the piloted shredder. It's a strong card to gain, regain control of the board, and I could potentially use slam to my advantage here. Get rid of the divine shield on the mini bot. I think this is the best play. Remove the Divine Shield off the mini bot, Fanning Shout, and remove the 3 3. The Avenger will obviously kick in and land on the Gnome, which is, which is reasonable. Hmm, Elven Archer. Doomsayer? No. We must cleanse the sun well. Unfortunately, I don't have a way to deal one damage, which would be... would have been a preferable thing. I'm not sure if this is the best play. But it's the play I'm going for. <laughs> I want to get rid of this... Uh, Noyatron in the hopes of using my Arcanite Reaper on some of the bigger cards that I think are, that are here and are probably coming. He likes to taunt this guy a lot. He's just going for face, huh? I feel like this is the play that I need to do. I'm not 100% sure if it's going to work out. <laughs> but I need to remove his minions as fast as possible. 5, 7, 8, 12. I mean, he's, he's almost got me. I need to drop an empty kill, but assuming that I can survive this turn. He's got almost like a zoo deck, it would seem, for a paladin. All the low-cost cards, which is a bit frustrating. Ah, has he just beat me? Seven, eight, thirty eight, just beat me. Well, well, I'd say that I got beat there by some very, very zoo like paladin decks there. Very low curve. Dropping a lot of very small minions. If I'd, if I'd been able to stabilize there, I would have won the game, but. I got five wins, which is what I thought I would get with this deck. It's what I expected. Um, lacking weapons, I'd say. A fiery war axe amongst those cards in that those two games probably would have meant that I would have won those games. And the fiery war axe makes a big difference in warrior decks because it's a very strong early game card, one of the strongest that you can get. Well, there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed my Warrior Arena playthrough. Join me again for another one. I'm sure I'll do some more. And until next time, guys. Take it easy.